Hello. What you see here are the results of an experiment we performed a few months ago. We gathered the participants in a room and we asked them the following question. Are you in favor or against an energetic model based on nuclear energy? They had to write down on a paper if they were in favor or against on a scale from 0 to 10. Additionally, they also had to write down how likely it was that they were willing to listen to people whose opinion was different and try to approach their positions. After this, every participant had half a minute to try to convince the others that their point of view was the appropriate one. Finally, they also had to write down both their opinion and their degree of willingness to close the gap between different positions. We elaborated a contact network formed by people disposed to listen to each other. And as you can see in the image, after the debate, this network had been compressed. The degree of consensus had increased. There is a bunch of issues that we need to address as a society. In some cases, we need to get to a consensus to act effectively and solve specific problems. Complex systems theory studies systems formed by a large number of components that are very similar to each other and are in constant interactions. Some behaviors emerge from these interactions and it will be impossible to explain them if we only take into account each component separately. In other words, quoting Aristotle, the whole is greater than the sum of its parts. We, human beings, work according to these rules. Which are the mechanisms that drive us to consensus or to get into highly polarized debates with groups of people unable to listen to each other? If we want to solve social problems, we need to improve our understanding of the social fabric as much as possible. My PhD is in physics, so people often ask me, well, isn't this the sociologist work? Indeed, and their vision is very powerful and complementary, but we shouldn't forget that in this discipline, the object of study are the observers themselves, which is something kind of tricky. The best we can do is to tie efforts all together in order to get a glimpse of how collective intelligence emerges. For instance, in the first study I presented in my thesis, I used a very well-known model used in physics to describe the behavior of helium, and I established a parallelism, making the necessary changes so it can be used to explain the opinion bubble formation on social media. There's still a lot to do, and cooperation is the key to success. The future is interdisciplinary. Thank you very much for your attention. My name is Irene Ferri.